to Mary's kitchen, and I'm Mary, and I was just setting my oven for preheating at 375 for a fantastic recipe we're going to fix today. I think you're really going to enjoy this. It's baked stuffed shells. For this recipe, we need a box of jumbo shells, and I happen to use the Ronzoni brand, but any brand will be fine, but they have to be jumbo shells. I've already cooked the shells till they're tender, and I've drained them, and I've laid them on a cooking sheet with a piece of wax paper so that they wouldn't stick together, and I could still open them. So it just had to be tender so that you could, they're flexible, that we can stuff them. For the stuffing, the cheese stuffing, this is the same stuffing that you use for lasagna, baked manigotte, and ravioli. Reason why I like this for the shells is because we can determine how much we want to make. Lasagna, you get a large casserole. I can make as many shells as I want for my dinner party. So the first thing, the main ingredient, is regatta cheese, and I'm using hot skim regatta. You could use full fat if you want. Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, parsley, salt and pepper, and eggs. That's it. Let's get started mixing our ingredients. In a medium size mixing bowl, I've placed one container, that's 15 ounces of regatta, in my bowl. I'm going to crack one egg into that one tablespoon of chopped Italian parsley, half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, a fourth of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, I like Reggiano Parmesan cheese, and then we're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of coarse black pepper. We're going to mix that together well. The regatta cheese is well mixed and it's ready for stuffing the shells. Um, this should stuff at least 12 to 14 shells. I'm going to make six shells today. This is going to be dinner for two. And so I'm using a smaller size casserole, about an 8 by 8 inch casserole. The 9 by 13 casserole works great for all, when you're doing the 12 shells. You can determine how many shells you want to make per person. First, we're going to layer with our homemade marizo, uh, marinara sauce the bottom of the casserole dish. And you can get my marinara sauce on my blog and on YouTube. Take one of the shells, carefully open it, and I'm using a large kitchen tablespoon, and about a tablespoon should fill the shell pretty well. You don't want to overstuff it, and you don't want to have not enough, so you have to get it to look like a, sh a closed shell again, like a conch, and layer that in your casserole dish. I'm going to do all six. Okay, number six. So this is going to be three each for two people. If you have a hearty appetite, then you might want to do four. You're going to probably wondering what I'm going to do with this leftover regatta cheese and the cooked shells. Well, let me show you. What you can do is you can stuff your shells, your pre-cooked shells, with your regatta cheese. Put them on a, on a tray that will fit into your freezer. I covered the tray with a piece of uh, tin foil. I stuffed the shells, covered it in wax paper, and put it into my freezer until they're thoroughly frozen. Once they're fully frozen, you can take them and put them in a Ziploc bag. If they're frozen individually like this, they will not stick together once they're in frozen and put in a bag, and you can keep those frozen for at least a month until you're ready to make a, the dinner out of that. Now we're going to ladle some more marinara sauce over the top of our stuffed shells. They don't have to be completely coated with sauce. And as you can see, I always have lots of sauce on hand, so we're going to heat up what's ever left a little bit to use 
as extra serving at the table. Sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. Cover your casserole just tightly with a piece of tin foil. Place it in a preheated 375 degree oven uh, for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's really hot and bubbly and it's ready to be served. The shells are cooked. They cooked for 35 minutes, nice and hot. I'm not going to serve them right away. Let them sit a while. Let them settle before you serve them. But that's baked jumbo shells. Enjoy.